welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, today's video is super exciting because I'm gonna be doing my first ever wedding haul. And I'm not talking about dresses, I'm talking about the actual wedding decor, which I'm so excited about. In case you guys have missed it, I am getting married this year. It's actually set now, it's all booked. It's in September this year. We're actually gonna be getting married abroad. I probably will let you guys know all the details and all the juicy little things you want to find out in another video in the future where I maybe talk about more about like the planning process. But for now, all you need to know, it's abroad and we are driving there. So we are actually able to take a lot of stuff like decorations with us. Shout out to Shein. This video is very kindly sponsored by them. So I'm super excited. But if you guys want to see what goodies and gems I found for my wedding from Shein, then without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, where do I even begin? I feel like maybe I should get some of the clothes thing out the way first. I only have like three dresses to show you guys. The rest is just like decor and bits and bobs. So let's start with the clothes. The first dress we're going to be trying out is this one right here. And this is like the perfect bridesmaids dress. I'm sadly not going to be having any bridesmaids at our wedding just because there's not actually that many guests coming. And so it would be weird to have bridesmaids when they really should be sat down and actually making it look like there's more people at the wedding. But I thought for other people, if you do have bridesmaids, this would be such a cute dress or even if you're a wedding guest I feel like it's gonna be kind of hard to show but this is the gist so it's kind of like a wrap front it has these really cool like straps going at the back that kind of crisscross it has a little bit of like a floaty kind of bardo sleeve and then the rest of the dress is super maxi really flowy the color is perfect for a wedding this is actually gonna be like the color theme of my wedding anyway it's kind of like whites nudes and neutrals which I mean I'm sure you guys would have guessed if you've been on my channel for a while. Those are like my favorite colors. So let's try this first dress on and see how it looks. Okay, this is what the dress looks like on. As you can see, it is absolutely stunning. I'm obsessed with this. It has a really nice slit in the front, but it's like not too much. It's still very covered. I just love the neckline so much. I love the little bardo straps. And then this is what it looks like from the back. It's just so stunning, so dainty. It's perfect for a wedding especially a bridesmaid. Also, it is very snatching in the waist. It feels very, very nice and body adhering. So I'm really liking the fit. It actually goes all the way down to the floor as well, which I'm definitely very happy about. And yeah, I just really love this. If I was personally having bridesmaids, they definitely would have been wearing these. The next dress we have is this one right here. Once again, this could be either for a wedding guest or a bridesmaid's dress. It is absolutely stunning. The color is to die for. I mean, look at it. It's like a really nice silky kind of pink fabric. Oh my gosh, this looked insane on the website. It's basically like a cowl neck. It's completely backless pretty much. You can tie the straps yourself. Obviously this needs a bit of a steam before you wear it out, but yeah, it is stunning. It has a really nice big slit. And I can just tell this would be such a gorgeous dress for a wedding. So that's why I picked it up to show you guys. Once again, let's try this one on and see how it looks. This dress is absolutely stunning once again. I mean, look at this fabric. It's so flowy. It's super long. The only slight criticism I have about this dress is this bust area. I feel like there's just a little bit of excess fabric right here. To be honest though, you could get that tailored really, really easy and just kind of take out a little bit of that excess fabric, but maybe it's just my chest. I feel like I just don't have enough to fill out the sides right here but maybe someone else would. As for the straps, they are adjustable, but luckily I didn't really need to touch them. They were perfect the way they were. Here is the slit. The slit is really nice. It is kind of high though, so if you were to wear this, I would recommend wearing some like neutral cycling shorts underneath, just in case. Apart from that though, this dress is so stunning, and this is what it looks like from the back. I'm obsessed with it, honestly. Again, for a bridesmaid or even a wedding guest, this would be such an amazing dress. All you'd have to do is just tailor this little chest area. Apart from that, it's perfect. And now the last dress I have to show you guys is actually a wedding dress. Now, I'm sure you guys already know, but I have already chosen my wedding dress for my wedding. It's locked in. I've got the one, but this is more just for you guys. I want to show you guys what you can get on Shein because I was actually surprised. They do some pretty nice dresses. This is the dress. It is getting super washed out on camera, but it is stunning. It has like these really nice mesh cutouts. It has this mesh modesty panel right here. The straps are adjustable. 
it's got padding inside and then the rest of the dress is like this poofy poofy princess moment. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I feel like if you're after a princess dress, this could be a really good option. It was very affordable as well. I'll have all the links in the description if you want to check it out for yourself, but let's pop this on and see how it looks. Okay, and here is the wedding dress. Oh my gosh, this is actually really stunning, especially for the price that we paid for this. This dress was so affordable, but like look how much there is to it. There's so many layers. It's very poofy, very long as well. It does actually have a little bit of a drag on the floor, which is amazing. As it is with every wedding dress, you're definitely gonna need to get it tailored to your body size so that it actually fits you perfectly. Even my actual wedding dress that I had made custom to my body size still needed to be tailored after I tried it on for the first time. So with that in mind, this dress probably could also do with some adjustments like taking it in, in the waist or just some minor things. But as a base of a good wedding dress, it's got it going on. So I'm really, really happy with this. If you're on a budget and you don't want to spend a lot of money on a wedding dress, I feel like this is a really good contender. I did also pick up a veil. I don't know if this is going to be any good, but I thought I'd give it a go. And this is it. Basically, it has these tiny little pearls attached all over it. It has like the clip so you can clip it at the back of your hair. And yeah, this is it. I mean, as far as veils go, they are all pretty much the same. Like, it's literally just mesh fabric. This feels pretty nice quality, actually. Again, it probably would need a steam. It's kind of creased, but yeah, this is kind of cute. And then I did also pick up a handbag because I don't have a wedding handbag. I thought about this and I'm like, where am I gonna put my phone? Where am I gonna put like my lipstick to top up? I need something. So I found this and I thought it was really, really cute. It's very small, very dainty literally just for the bare necessities. I'm hoping that my phone is gonna fit in here. Let's give it a go. Oh, it does. It fits as long as it's at an angle. There we go. I think it's actually very cute. It's such a small little dainty bag, but it will just keep all your bits together. And yeah, it was very affordable. I'm not out here buying a whole expensive bag just for one day. So this is gonna do. It does also have a long strap in case you want it. But to be honest, I quite like it just like this. Okay, so now moving on to the decor bits and bobs. I had so much fun shopping on Shein for all this stuff. In fact, I've bought the biggest bulk of like all my decorations off of Shein for my real wedding day. Like this isn't just for the video. Like I'm actually gonna be using this on my wedding day. First up, we have this. This is a set of tiny little hangers, which I thought would be really nice, not only for my wedding dress, but also for my mom's dress, for my mother-in-law's dress, and also my sister-in-law's. It comes as a set of five, so this would be perfect for bridesmaids. Look how adorable they are. They're so cute. They have like a little bow. They're actually very nice quality. I just thought for photos this would be way nicer than just like a regular hanger. So yeah, I just had to get these. Next up we have some gift bags. Now these are mainly as like wedding gift favors because of the amount of people that are coming to my wedding. I really wanted to make it special for them. It's only going to be like 15 guests. So it's very small and intimate. So I really wanted to go all out and kind of get them like a little customized like goodie bag. It's probably like the influencer in me because I've been on so many PR trips. I I want to kind of make it feel like it's a PR trip, but for my wedding. I got some of these. How freaking cute are these little gift bags? So these are going to be for all the guys, like my dad, Matt's dad, his brother, all those kinds of people that are coming. And I'm going to just fill it with like sweets, goodies, I don't know, some toiletries or something. Just kind of like a little welcome hamper thing. And I think it's going to be so cute. These were so freaking affordable. So I got a couple of those. Now for the women, there wasn't really like a wedding dress equivalent to like this. So I just had to get these plain white ones and I'm just gonna decorate it myself. They're a pretty good size actually. So again, these would be great for like bridesmaids if you wanna like do a bridesmaid proposal or something. But like I said, I'm just gonna use these for wedding favors. So yeah, they're really nice quality actually. To go inside them, however, I did find these. So basically it's like a smaller version of this, but then it also has the women's like wedding dress. So these are just boxes that you can like fold together into a tiny little box. Let me show 
show you. It does also come with like the ribbons to put it all together, but it basically just like folds together like that. And you can just put anything in it. You could put little treats, you could put sweets or anything in there. I think I'll probably put sweets in these because you know, they're kind of small. If you guys did want to see a more in-depth video about like my wedding favors and like the behind the scenes of me planning everything, definitely let me know in the comments and give this video a thumbs up. I think I could definitely make like a really fun chatty video giving you guys more information about all of it and yeah maybe give you guys some inspiration for your own weddings. The next thing I got is a set of 50 stickers. These were literally so affordable. I think they were like a pound but look how cute they are. They basically just say thank you for making our day so special. I'm just planning on sticking these on like various little gifts that I'm gonna give them so I think they're gonna be such a nice little touch. Now moving on to the actual like dinner table for my actual wedding. I picked up a couple of things from Shein for that as well. I found these little boxes which again are kind of like wedding favor boxes but I really want to put like a tiny little chocolate in them or something and just put it on like people's plates. This is what they look like once they're all folded and assembled. I think they look so cute. It just says sweet wishes on it and honestly it just fits really well with like my whole wedding theme of it being neutral and nude. I actually think they look very luxurious too like considering these were so cheap. Moving on to the next item I am so excited about this one because it's actually the name cards for my wedding table. I had a really long and hard think about this and how I was actually gonna like put the placemats and like the name cards on the table. I knew I didn't want it to just be like one simple piece of paper that just says people's names on it. So I found these and they are so adorable. They're basically like a perspex round little disc that sits in like this tiny little wooden base. I've actually used my Cricut machine to like customize them and put people's names on them. So this is what it looks like. I just think they look really cute and dainty, very just like slick and minimal. And that's exactly what I want so I think these are gonna be really special. I think these were like literally a pound or two pounds at most and they were so affordable so honestly I got one for every single wedding guest. Okay now moving on to the next item. This next one is so useful. It's actually a ring holder and this is what it looks like. This is just one of those things that I didn't really think about until like the last minute which is now and this is definitely a really useful thing to have for your wedding rings. Obviously our wedding rings do come in their individual boxes however I did want one just to kind of keep them together so I got this one and it's actually really really nicely made it's so cute it's made of real wood and look how nice quality this is honestly I'm so impressed then has like a little glass window and then you can put each ring and each of these compartments this is so cool it looks really really nice quality it's actually magnetized as well this is the box that we're gonna be putting our wedding rings in which is so exciting Exciting. I'm really really happy with it. Now for the ceremony of the actual wedding day, we're keeping the chairs pretty minimal. However, I did kind of want to spice them up with like a little bit of fabric wrapped around the back. So I saw these and I literally picked up so many. I'm really hoping they're going to be nice quality. Ooh, they do look nice. It's basically like a really nice nude mesh piece of fabric. So you can just like wrap it around the chair and then tie it into a bow or something. Might also do like a little bouquet kind of a attached to it as well at the back of the chairs. So that's gonna be so cute. I'm really impressed with the quality. They definitely need a steam because they're so creased from like being packaged up. So again, this is perfect for my wedding. It's like the tiny little touches that really matter. And honestly, the color is perfect too. It literally just matches the theme perfectly. Moving on to the next item. I actually have a hair accessory. I'm not too sure if I'm actually gonna use this for my wedding, but I really wanted to play around with different hairstyles and just see if I can incorporate some Something like this into my wedding hair. This is freaking stunning. Are you kidding? Look at this you guys. How beautiful is this? It's got so much detail. It's such a stunning hair clip. It also comes with two gold hair grips to kind of like tie it in properly. I just think this would be so stunning at like the back of the head with a nice updo. Oh my gosh. It's really nice quality actually and I love the little flower detail. Whether this is for the bride or even for a wedding guest, I feel like this would be really really cute on anybody so I can't wait to try it out. The next item I got is another car 
cardboard based item and it is this thing right here. I'm sure you guys are like, what the hell is this? It's basically a confetti holder. As you can see, it's just a box that you put up yourself and then it has all these little holes so that you can put these like cones with petals inside. I'll pop a photo on screen so you can see what it looks like. I'm not gonna open this now because I wanna wait until the wedding day so that it doesn't get creased and damaged. But yeah, this is perfect for my wedding. It's just gonna be so nice to have everybody like pick up a cone and then throw all the real petal confetti. It seems really nice quality. Obviously it's just made of cardboard, but yeah, definitely worth the money. And now I think I may have left my favorite part till last and that is the flowers. So originally we did want real flowers at the wedding and like everything to be real. However, because we are having it abroad and the country we're having it in is very expensive. We got a quote for floral for the whole wedding, like the ceremony, the wedding table and everything and it came to six thousand pounds for one day i'm sorry that is extortionate and i will not be paying that especially because we're going to be having a micro wedding like there's literally so little people coming it's just not worth it so i thought you know what i'm just going to settle at having imitation flowers so obviously fake flowers and I am actually very impressed at what has arrived from Shein. They have so many different flower options and honestly some were better than others. But in my opinion, I think I have picked the best and most realistic looking ones. For example, look at this one. I think this looks so realistic, especially the petals. Don't look at the like leaves. I am actually gonna be cutting those off, but the actual flower itself looks so real. I mostly picked up peonies and roses, just flowers that were like bright and white. These will definitely match the like wedding theme of white and cream. I have loads of different colors and different kinds, but yeah, I will link all the ones that I got below in the description. They do super affordable single roses, but they also do these little like bouquets and bunches. This is just like a little bouquet of peonies. Oh my gosh, it's getting so washed out on camera, but yeah, this is really cute. The quality is actually really nice. I am impressed. And the best part about these is that I'll actually be able to keep them after the wedding, so it's not super wasteful. That's the one thing I could not live down. The fact that like you pay so much money for real flowers for your wedding and then they just die. Like it literally just feels like you're throwing the money away. So at least with these, I'll be able to use them all around the house and gift them to my family members. And yeah, I'm really, really impressed with these. Because I got so many, I can't remember what ones are called what, but I will try to my best ability to link all the ones that I picked up as best as I can. I did also pick up additional foliage to go with the flowers because I feel like the leaves that are on the flowers don't look as realistic. Whereas some of the like foliage you can get on Shein is a lot more realistic looking. For example, look at this eucalyptus stem. It looks so real, doesn't it? Just to give you guys a better idea of kind of what I'm hoping to achieve, I did put together a little like bouquet for the table and I can show you guys how I made it in a future video if you guys want to see that but this is the kind of thing that I made with all the Shein flowers I picked up and I'm so happy with how it looks the best part is this was so affordable to make and these are literally just gonna be so nice on the wedding tables it actually looks so real I can't get over it I'm sorry but there's no way I'm gonna be paying six thousand pounds for real flowers when I can achieve this for a fraction of the price all right guys so that was everything for today's Shein wedding haul oh my gosh this was so exciting. I've been meaning to film this video for ages now. I am so happy with everything I picked up. I'll have all the links in the description. Let me know which one of these items was your favorite. Like I said, if you guys did want to see a more in-depth video of like the behind the scenes of planning and arranging all of my wedding, then definitely let me know in the comments. I can show you guys how I'm making the goodie bags. I can show you guys how I'm like putting together these bouquets and all that good stuff. So definitely let me know. But that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!